Frank E. Mistin. Sherlock Chips, a great detective, was out walking one day when he saw a big box. Hmm, I wonder what this could be, he said. Along came Sherlock Chips' friends, Squeakins Mouse and Charlie Chipmunk. What's in the box, they asked. Just then, one side of the box popped open and out rolled a giant egg. Sherlock Chick and his friends were surprised. What kind of egg is that? asked Charlie Chipmunk. I don't know, said Sherlock Chick. I'll go and get my mother. She knows all about eggs. So he ran to the chicken coop to find Emma Hen. My goodness, said Emma Hen. I've never seen such a big egg. It needs warming, so whatever is inside can hatch. A mother knows these things. She climbed up on the egg and sat down. This isn't going to work, said Emma Hen. This egg is much too big for me to keep warm all by myself. We'll help you, said Squeakins Mouse and Charlie Chipmunk, and they climbed up on the egg with her. While the three of them were busy on the egg, Sherlock Jack went to have another look at the box. He was hoping to find some clues. He wanted to solve the mystery of the giant egg. Sherlock Jack walked around the box. On the back he found a label. Now he knew that the egg was for Farmer Jones, and he knew that it came from Aunt Matilda in Africa. Further along, Sherlock Chick saw four stamps. One of the stamps showed a lion, one showed a gorilla, one showed an elephant, and one stamp was torn. All that could be seen were two feet and the letters itch. Hmm, said Sherlock Chick. I wonder what an itch is. Sherlock Chick went back to the others. I found out that this egg came from Africa, he said, and there were stamps on the box showing a lion, a gorilla, and an elephant. Squeakins, Charlie, and Emma Hen gasped. Oh, what if there's a lion inside the egg, Squeak, said Squeakins, or a gorilla, said Emma Hen, or an elephant, said Charlie. Lions, gorillas, elephants, shouted Emma Hen. Yelled Squeakins, and they all jumped off the egg and ran. Come back, said Sherlock Chick. Lions, gorillas, and elephants don't hatch from eggs. Besides, I also saw a stamp with an animal called an itch. My boy, said Emma Hen, of course you are right about the other animals. But what in the world is an itch? No, but it makes me feel like scratching, said Squeakins. No, that's an itch, said Sherlock Chick. If we all keep warming the egg, perhaps we will find out what's inside. So this time, Sherlock sat on the egg too. They sat on the egg for a long time. Then Emma Hen said, Oh, oh, I feel something moving. And the others felt it too. The egg was cracking open. The four sitters jumped off at once, and in the nick of time too, the shell broke apart, and out came a giant baby bird. Oh my goodness, said Emma Hen, what a big itch. Sherlock Chick studied the bird, hmm. and then he remembered a picture he'd seen in one of his books. This bird is not an itch, he said. Then what is it? asked the others. This bird is a baby ostrich, said Sherlock Chick. Only the last three letters of his name were on the stamp. The rest of his name was torn off. What a smart detective you are, said Emma Hen. And won't Farmer Jones be surprised when he sees the baby ostrich, said Squeakins. No more than us, said Sherlock Jack. And after all, we hatched him. Mm -hmm.